Hi there, Chris Klein, director of Butterfly Ridge Butterfly Conservation Center here in a very toasty southeast Ohio. The rain has slowed down a little bit, but uh, we're still sitting at 41 inches for the year, which is three, eight, three inches above our average annual precipitation. So, so in other words, if we don't get another drop of rain the entire rest of the year, and keep in mind today, I think it's July 28th, um, if we don't get another drop of rain the rest of the year, we'll still finish three inches above normal. So that gives you an idea how wet it's been. Um, today we are out here in the prairie to talk about a, actually it's a group of plants um, that we have planted out here. And it is the genus Liatris. And actually we've got a couple of Liatris planted out here. And I'll show you the first one. It's kind of right beside me here. And that is those little purple dudes right there. That is Liatris squarosa, also known as colic root. And while it's, I certainly wouldn't put it in the Dairy Queen Blizzard category, it um, it absolutely falls in the peanut butter and jelly category, and um, so you know butterflies do enjoy it. Especially the uh, skippers seem to really go for ours. Um, and I'll be honest, this time of year, the the nectar pickings up here in the prairie are pretty slim. I'm going to kind of wheel you around again. And I hear my wife coming on the gator, so I better stop this for now. Alrighty, well, I'm back. The wife is still doing weird things with the gator, but what are you gonna do? So, um, so yeah, we're looking at colic root here, which is the little purple flowers. Um, here at Butterfly Ridge, the skippers really seem to like it. Uh, I first saw colic root actually at Lynx Prairie, which is down in southern Ohio. And down there, it was actually the giant swallowtails that were all over the colic root. In fact, I had trouble getting pictures of, of a colic root flower head without a butterfly on it. Okay, that's how popular it was down there. It's not quite that popular here, and I'm not entirely sure why. But... Um, but it's still it's still a good plant. It's one of those that most people have never heard of before. Um, now I'm going to try to walk and talk at the same time here, which uh, could prove to be quite entertaining for you folks. So another member of the Liatris group, which is up here just around the corner, and that is Blazing Star, and that's probably the member of the group that you folks are more familiar with. A lot of folks have never heard of colic root before, but most people have heard of Blazing Star. And we are almost there, just around the corner. You didn't realize you were gonna get a tour of the prairie with this landscaping for life video. So, here's our Blazing Star. And, the Blazing Star, um, we actually recorded butterfly species number 62 on uh, the Blazing Star here a couple days ago. And that butterfly was a little skipper known as Hoary Edge. And I'll try to uh, embed that video of the Hoary Edge in with this. So we, uh, we like Blazing Star too. Now one of the oddities that we have found and I've been doing some research lately on it is this um, where all of our blazing star was blooming last year is actually let me wheel the camera around is actually out there and you don't see any blazing star there <laughs> okay which is a little, a little disturbing um, and I'm not entirely sure why, because Blazing Star is supposed to be a perennial, and it looked really, really happy last year, just like, just like that one does. Um, so I don't know if maybe they, they take some years off and just grow underground, 
Uh, what I've been told, at least today, is apparently the bunnies seem to like Blazing Star and Colic Root, and just members of the Liatris genus in particular. And so that's why here at Butterfly Ridge, with your paid admission, you get to take home a free deer or three free bunnies. So keep that in mind. It's a screaming deal. Nowhere else in Southeast Ohio can you go to a butterfly place that gives away bunnies and deer. Um, of course, we've now had that policy for three years and nobody's taken us up on it yet, but we, we try. So um, we've also found when growing the Blazing Star and the Colic Root from seed, the colic root grows really, really well from seed. Um, no problems. The blazing star is a little more on the challenging side. We also tried growing Liatris pycnostachia, which is closer to the closer to the blazing star than it is the colic root in appearance. And we had a terrible time with those. It was almost kind of a kind of a damping off type of a situation where the first two or three leaves came on just fine and then boom all of a sudden everybody died um, so I think next time we grow those I'm gonna actually steal a trick from a friend of mine a gentleman named Gary who uh, oh here seven eight years ago he moved from New York to Vietnam and um, and he shared with me once that you know Vietnam is so hot and humid, you know everything molds. You know fungus is like the national plant there. And so um, he said everybody grows things using uh, cinnamon water. You know where they'll put cinnamon in the water and they'll water things that way because apparently the cinnamon has antifungal properties. Um, the only downside is cinnamon is naturally. I guess it'd be hydrophobic where it's hard to it's hard to get the cinnamon to mix in real good with the water you kind of have to shake it and stir it to death to get it to work but but eventually it does work and so maybe we'll try that next year next spring when we're growing um, the blazing star from seed and if we get any of the pycnostachia seed we'll try it with that too try watering with the cinnamon water and see if that helps our chances so anyway, uh, today's landscaping for life was the genus Liatris with the colic root and also with the blazing star. Definitely encourage you to try both of those. Once again, um, I will put those in the peanut butter and jelly category. If you want to see a Dairy Queen blizzard, let me swing the camera around here. There we go. There's a Dairy Queen blizzard for you. The butterfly weed. Everybody likes butterfly weed. And so with that, um, you know, I'm not even sure what episode number we're up to now. Whatever number it is, we will conclude episode number 20-something. And uh, I will see you again here in a week or so. Bye.